at Veterans Recording Veterans, and today I'm super excited because I've got Jonathan down here with Gunner Gray, and you just changed up your name to Fusion Furniture. Furniture yeah. Fusion. Fusion. That's yeah. it. That's it. So you've been on the VRV for a long time. He's an awesome woodworker. So we're here to talk to about you and explain with what you've got going on. So, John, welcome. <laughs> so a hey. little bit of what what'd you do? What branch of service were you in, brother? Uh, I was in the Marines 2001 to 2005. I was infantry. I was with um, Charlie, 1st Battalion, 5th Marines. Um, three tours to Iraq, and that's about it. So Yeah? <laughs> yeah <laughs> right on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nothing so what, crazy. <laughs> and you, if for people that aren't following you yet, on if they're not, um, they need to follow you over on Instagram and your social media with Facebook and all that. Because you, yeah. there's some woodworkers out there that are pretty good, and you bring a whole nother talent, I think, to to what you're doing. So what what kind of brought you into woodworking? Um, well, after I got out of the military, I was just kind of bouncing around for a little bit, um, and then I started a construction company with my younger brother. We did that for about five years. Uh, it ended a little poorly so i split ways and i went into commercial construction and just you know the construction world is just a rat race so i got tired of busting my back and my you know not making enough money doing all that and breaking down my body so i was with one of my my uh, my therapists and he had mentioned you know, like what's your passion what's your creativity what do you enjoy most and i like woodworking i like doing stuff like that creating you know new things so he found the school north Street school uh, in boston and he submitted my name while we were there, and the next day the head of administrations was calling. They wanted, you know, wanted me to fill out an application, do all that, and within like seven months, I was in the school. So Dude, it's been a big awesome. change, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's helped out more than you know, more than yeah. career-wise. So it's been good. No, I can't that's awesome. That. I love it. I think it's the design and creativity. I like more actual working with wood, but. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. I'm super excited. You said the therapy thing, because that's one of the questions I was going to ask, too, is, is how is woodworking related to therapy? Because a lot of people, I think when they hear the word therapy, they're thinking they're sitting in front of a counselor doing something like that. And so doing what you're doing, obviously, I'm, I'm assuming it's extremely therapeutic for you, you know, and in, in, in doing everything from start to finish. Yeah, I mean, I think that kind of touches with, you know, Maybe it's not just woodwork. It's like what I'm pat. You know, once you find something that you really enjoy, like you you look forward to doing it every day. I mean, that in its own, I think, is you know the biggest form of medication you can get. Because if you're in a job where you're not enjoying yourself, you know, you're not making the money you want to make, or even if you're making, if you're not happy going there every day and doing the things you're doing, I mean, it's going to have that kind of effect on your life. You know, as long as yeah. you fill it with as much positivity as you can, I mean, that's really. That's really where it comes from, man. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, dude, that's awesome. You were you were just briefly we were talking about because I asked John if he, you know, working in his garage like a lot of woodworkers do, but you actually got quite a big space up there out in you yeah. know out in Massachusetts up there. But yeah, so yeah. did yeah, so you're looking to expand too with with what you're doing. Well, maybe in the future. So. So yeah, I graduated um, uh, three weeks ago from the school. And, you know, it's kind of funny how everything works out. Like, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do after the school. I was just planning on working in my basement or going, you know, working for another furniture maker or something like that. But, um, you know, the way the school works, you start off in one section of the workshop. And then once you get out of your first semester, you move over to the next section. And when the first semester guys moved over, one of the guys sitting there, he's actually here now. He, uh, we started talking about something. And it turns out he was in the Marines the same time as me. He was a heavy, huh. heavy, uh, heavy equipment mechanic, and he was over there in Iraq at the same time. We went to boot camp at the same time. We're in Paris Island, <laughs> it was a different battalion. Yeah, uh, we started talking, and they were putting in a rubber roof over at the shop. Him and the other guy, Mike, and um, I was like, "Yeah, it's done putting in a rubber roof, so I'll give you a hand." And the next thing you know, I'm sitting here at a workbench in the second shop. So <laughs> <laughs> it all just kind of worked out, you know. And the the space is huge. I mean, it's it needs a lot of work to get it up to speed, but I mean, we, it's a huge opportunity out here. So yeah, you know, yeah, that's. Well, at this point, I'm going to kind of do what I can do to make money, but um, I'm going to end up doing a lot of kitchens, a lot of cabinet work, you know, a lot of furniture. I guess the end game goal would be to, you know, like the name Gunner Gray Furniture Fusion. I'm Japanese, so I want to kind of tie, you know, the Japanese uh, culture, architecture, joinery, all their woodworking skills and tie it in with 
American and Western, you know, the ways that I learned over at North Bennett Street School. So that's sweet. making like so, creative one-off pieces is kind of what I want to be doing. But yeah, that's so. Where so explain it. Where's the name coming from? So Gunner Gray. Gunner is my uh, six-year-old's middle name, and Gray is my three-year-old's middle name. Oh, uh, I got you. After, yeah, he was named after one of my buddies who was killed over in Afghanistan. So mm. it just oh, that's cool. you know, it wasn't planned out. But Gunner Gray just kind of came out of nowhere, you know, with my kids. I'm like, yeah, it works. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, it was yeah, funny. Cause, or, when, we, <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the first times we were always, I, I was wondering if it was like a call sign or something. And then, uh, you know, once we started talking, I was like, I think one of the first times, man, I, I saved you in the phone is Gunner Gray. I was like, but your name's John. I was like, no, that's yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was always curious about that. I never knew. So that's cool. Yeah. A lot of people call me Gunner. That don't know me so uh, <laughs> <laughs> if they see me on the instagram or whatever they're like they always say gunner oh, i just go with it it works yeah i'm okay with that <laughs> yeah yeah right on your gram name well that's yeah. sweet brother so um so where does the japanese fit in with this is that do you have ties to over there or is that just or you just really like their yeah. work with what they do um, a little bit of, well, my father's Japanese, so I'm happy. Oh, okay. He's 100% Japanese, yeah. So uh. my, uh, my great grandparents or great grandmother was kind of came over to America and right. um, they started, you know, they started a, a family and everything. And it's, you know, it's always been a big part of my, when my father was growing up, it was right after the World War II era. And both my grandparents were in those, um, the internment camps. Uh. So when they started having kids, like, both my grandmother and grandfather were fluent Japanese, but they mm -hmm. didn't teach their children. And you know, all my uncles and aunts have American names. You know, they tried to fit them in as much as possible. So right. with that, you know, we lost a lot of that Japanese heritage. So, right. You know, I, I, I mean, I love the Japanese culture and their woodworking. So it kind of, you know, it kind of works. Me hmm. being half Japanese and me liking what they do. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's sweet, uh, brother. So... Yeah. You're looking so people, and I know you just got your website up and running pretty good, right? Yeah. Or the kind of revamped one. So, yeah. where are you? Who are you gearing for, like towards, like consumer-wise? You know, as much as I'd like to, you know, the 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 school focuses on like. Um, the hell word am I looking for? Like period furniture, like the band, really fancy, you know, hand carved everything, which I enjoyed. But it's such a it's such a small market, and me being not, I like nice stuff, but I can't afford it. So, you know, I'm trying to find that middle ground to where I can make you know really nice handmade furniture at an affordable price, where you yeah, know, the, the middle class America can buy it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to make that work. You know, take out some of the super fancy hand skills and uh, put in some more equipment. You know, different mm -hmm. skills. And try and you know try and get there in the middle of the market where people that want cool stuff don't have to buy it from Taiwan, you know. So <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's sweet. Yeah, and that's I love learning about you guys with with you guys everything built in America, handmade, yeah. especially by veterans. So that, that's awesome. So um, that's cool. And somebody I'd love to see. Hopefully, sometime, you know, when we get this, get a the Boston chapter up and running. We were down there, man. I, I want to see your work because it looks absolutely yeah. incredible, man. Yeah. I mean, so. once the shop is full speed, man, we're going to have a big open house. And then we can start running uh, meetings out of here, but there's a little, yeah. little ways to go before we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> No, that'd be sweet, man. Because, that yeah, we, we do them any and everywhere and whatever to highlight you guys. So would it will it be like – Obviously, it'd be a workshop, but is this something that you guys will display items for people to come down and, and, and purchase, so like look at, like a brick and mortar type store yeah, as well? Is, well, the, the difficult part with making higher end furniture is mm -hmm. it's expensive to make. So it's right. tough to make, like, I don't think I'll ever be in that like prototype phase where I'm just making random pieces of furniture and hoping they sell. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's not, the material is minimal for most, for the most part. It's just the time that goes into each piece. So. You know, if I spend 80 hours on something and hopefully someone buy it, I'm not at that point yet where my name's not known enough. You know, maybe mm -hmm. in 10 years I can just make something cool and someone will come and buy it. But I'm yeah. just trying, you know, mostly commission work, people coming in. And I mean, it'll be eventually open to the, you know, customers that can come in and they want to check out the space to see the progress on, you know, what we're working on for them. Yeah. Come and do that. But yeah. As far as the showroom, I'm not sure that'll ever happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
that's cool. Well, that's cool though, man. At least people come down and, and really see yeah. that it's truly, truly being built there in your guys' store with everything. So, because that's always that's huge to me. Always has been. Um, so that's awesome, man. So, yeah. well, that's yeah. sweet, brother. Well, I appreciate it. And, and you've been on the VRV, you know, pretty much from the beginning. So yeah. you've kind of seen us grow and everything. And nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot we were supposed to do it yesterday, and then and this morning I'm like, oh man, I forgot to call Justin. So <laughs> here I am. At least I didn't fall completely out. <laughs> no, it's good, man. Because that's good when yeah. you guys are busy. That that's awesome. Because that means the world yeah. that that you guys are out there doing it and killing it. So that's yeah. sweet, man. Yeah. So yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it for me. So um, I mean, do you got anything else at all besides you know we could throw up your um, your contact information? So yeah. what's the best way to reach you at? Um, it's probably either you know through social media or my okay. email address. You know, J O N at GunnerGray dot com. Okay, um, that's probably the best way. Sometimes I don't answer all my phone calls, so. If you call me, you know, 508-847-1390 and just leave a message because, you know, telemarketers are, you're always getting oh, dude. weird phone calls. No oh, dude. They don't want to call them back. <laughs> email or through Instagram or Facebook is probably, a, it's, a, it's a pretty easy way to communicate with people. So Right on. Cool. Well, we'll slap those up here so everybody can see them. And yeah. then everybody follow them on, on social media because your stuff is, is really intricate. It's really cool. The detail you put into it is sweet. Like the other day, you were you were chipping on the chair, man, and you had like a flower type thing going on. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. The, uh, so like you're supposed to, you know, at the school, you got to complete certain projects and then you're yeah. kind of free to do whatever you want. And I, carving is one of the things one of our instructors is really good at. And I, I didn't yeah. think I'd ever get into carving, but I tried a little bit and then... Next thing you know, I'm carving like a hundred little flowers into a mirror with feathers and all that other weird stuff. So yeah, <laughs> also oh, it's a mirror. Yeah, I saw the one with you. It showed the corner. I was assuming it was a chair, but it's a mirror. Yeah, it looked yeah. really good, dude. It looked yeah. really good. So That's good right. job on that, man. Yeah. yeah, congratulations on your on your class and and succeeding through that too. That's that's awesome, brother. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, love what you're doing. Love seeing your work being put up all the time, and especially I'm I'm glad it's helping you, you know, mentally and everything too, because that's that's oh, yeah. extremely important. So yeah. that's good, man. Yeah. So well, right on, brother. Well, thanks for uh, coming on and let me uh, take some of your time for a little bit. <laughs> well, thanks for having me, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. So um, right on. Well, we'll sign off with this, and um, until right. next time, yeah, everybody, check him out. He's on the VRV, and check out his social media, and uh, thanks a ton, John. I appreciate it. All right, no problem, man. Thank you. All right, bud. All right. All right. Yeah.